These are the charts on Velo 3D, and I never heard of the stock until this past week. You can see on the daily chart how we had this gap and go. So it was all the fuss in the stock popping higher on Friday. This article is coming from the street.com. Kathy Wood sinks 1.8 million into struggling SpaceX partner. So Velo 3D is a tech company that employs an innovative method of 3D metal printing to manufacture high-end hardware parts for specific use cases, including spaceships and rocket engines. Company with a market cap of only 224 million has been partnered with Elon Musk's SpaceX since 2018 after the space exploration company tied to acquire Velo 3D. <clears throat> Following the surprise resignation of the firm's CFO in September, about a week ago, Velo 3D stock plummeted 19% in a single day, tumbling from 140 per share to $1.14. Velo 3D shares, down more than 36% for the year, has been struggling lately. The last time the company broke a share price in excess of $6 was back in March of 2022, when it briefly hit $10. All right, so a couple of things to note before we continue. First of all, Elon Musk tried to buy the company. Um, SpaceX is associated with the company. So those are all bullish catalysts. So when the stock fell this past week, Kathy Woods, you know, CEO and investment lead of ARK Invest, saw a chance to boost ARK's holding in the company. She picked up a total of $1.6 on September 27th, worth $1.8 million. ARK's Autonomous Tech and Robotics ETF picked up the bulk of the purchase, boosting its holdings by 1.2 million shares. The fund now holds a total of 8.1 million shares of little 3D, worth a little over $9 million. However, still a small percentage in terms of the, the portfolio weight, less than 1%. We are excited about the future as demand for our industry-leading technology remains high as customers continue to pick up the Veloto 3D to manufacture the critical high-value metal parts they need, Bullet said in August. So I don't know who this Buller gentleman is. All right, so he's the CEO, Benny Buller. All right, so just going back to the charts now, and we're going to start with the weekly chart. We can see price hitting a low at the 110 level. Price has increased 50%. However, we have some headwinds just above price. That was support, support, support. It's now resistance. Let's go down to the daily chart. You see this cluster of trading before the leg down. That's also going to serve as um, some type of resistance uh, but the major resistance coming in at the one dollar and sixty cent level you know price can close above say 175 you could definitely fill that gap however if you look to the right you have the 100 day moving average sitting at the 180 dollar level but I think the bigger level of resistance is going to come in at the 200 day moving average which and if price continues to rise, maybe not at the rapid pace that we saw in the past week. Uh, this 200 day moving average is going to trickle down to about $2. Um, so that becomes your ultimate short term target. If you were able to get in at the lows or if you are got in and you have a paper loss, um, got to expect some resistance. Um, that price has to price has to get through. Again, you see that pivot low. That's going to serve as resistance, pivots here, pivots here. However, Kathy Woods has conviction. Um, it's not a bad business model. However, um, I would not even consider buying it um, until I'd seen some type of definitive reversal in the stock price 
Um, ideally, what I would love to see is price take out the two dollars and fifty cent level. That's your big level of resistance. So for the time being, I'm I'm going to be watching from the sidelines, enjoying my popcorn. Um, but again, bullish catalyst remains Kathy Woods, Elon Musk, and SpaceX. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please like the video.